All right, so we're going to be talking about a really disturbing case that happened recently with Johnson County Sheriff's Office in Arkansas. As of today, August 16th, 2024, Jacob Shook is no longer employed with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office due to a policy violation. Let's see what the news is saying about this. On January 23rd, Johnson County Sheriff Tom Hughes named Jacob Shook Chief Deputy. I made the, the choice to move him to Chief Deputy because he had the same goals that he stated as me, which is improve training, improve the way the department works, uh, bring on automation, all the things that have been left behind. We bring you a developing story tonight. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office announced this evening that Chief Deputy Jacob Shook is no longer with the office due to a policy violation. Chief Deputy of Johnson County has been fired just days after the sheriff demoted him amid an investigation. I came in on uh, August 1st to give a report of Jacob Shook grooming my daughter, sent an inappropriate Snapchat to her. I called him on the 1st, asked him why he Snapchatted her and said, I'm a weirdo, ain't I? He texted another little girl, Snapchat her, and said, cute toes, cute toes. All right, guys, so I did my thing. I went through the gambit of different investigative methods. I did a facial recognition search. I did a breach search on uh, jshook007 or 007. I think it was an at Gmail or something like that. And I found a few things, nothing too interesting. Usually with cops, you don't find a lot. They try to hide themselves online for obvious reasons. Uh, maybe some obvious, maybe some not obvious, like in this case, but this is possibly his uh, Snapchat right here. I can't really see what's on it, but uh, without going into the app, but that's uh, J Jacob Shook on Snapchat. Now, I did a case search in Arkansas, and I found a few things, nothing too interesting, and unlike Florida, they don't give, they give some documents here and there, but not all the documents, like in Florida on a lawsuit, you can usually see if it's like a credit card lawsuit. You can see what is on, like what the person charged on the credit card, at least to some degree, and some other details here, not really uh, that much. Anyway, this is a 2021 lawsuit, March 30th, 2021. And this was Mid-South Adjustment versus Jacob Shook. And uh, he was also getting garnished as well. But what's interesting about this, and I don't want to go through the whole case. Like I said, there's nothing really too interesting there, but... Um, and I'm not seeing all the documents like I do with different counties. But uh, what's interesting is that the garnishee was Arkansas Tech University. So he's working for a university at the time when he was garnished. Now, I also found a case here that's a divorce case that Jacob Shook uh, versus Ray Lynn Shook. And this was filed back in 2011. It's in uh, Johnson Circuit Divorce Court. Now, I'm not going to show too much information here because I don't want to expose the ex's information or, of course, the children. But uh, he filed this complaint in 2011. It went through the it went through the normal course. In 2017, there was the income withholding. So that would be, I believe, a wage garnishment to his employer. And there's other wage notices throughout the years. It looked like he did get garnished at the sheriff's office too, the best I can tell. But I wonder how the case is going to go now, now that he has been fired from his job. I mean, obviously the garnishments stop, but it looks like he was fired not because of this incident, because they, they said something like a policy violation, but we just don't know for sure uh, what the end result is as the case is so new. Now, something else I found interesting, and I mean, I say interesting, but also disturbing, uh, this was May 13th, 2021, and says, Today was a special one. We attended the Law Enforcement Memorial Service. Officer Manning was asked to sing the national anthem, and Chief McMillan gave the benediction. And it says, uh, it says thank you to these officers. And yeah, but anyway, on the right side, right here, looking at the picture, is uh, the, the guy in question, is uh, Jacob Shuck. So that should be him right here. I could be mistaken, but... I think that's him, and this was a facial reverse, so this came up. I actually didn't look at the other pictures, so yeah, there's just a line of police officers there. Um, honestly, like, I don't, I'm not saying anything against these other officers, but I gotta say, the, I mean, apparently the guy that made the complaint, he went to other officers, and they didn't do anything. So I have to say to that, screw them. Like, they're pieces of shit. If they just didn't go against their sheriff, how come they didn't go to... Uh, the state troopers, how come they didn't bring it up the ladder to the town or anything? Like, where's your duty as a police officer? Instead, it's more like, oh, I'm not saying this is exactly what they thought, but this is what it seems like. It's like, oh, that's our boss, so we're not going to do shit about it. But yeah, absolutely terrible. Let's let's continue. Now, I did find his TikTok, and this was on a username search. 
Bridget J. Shook, 007. And again, I'm not saying this is 100% him, but it does kind of look like him. You can let me know if you think I'm off in the comments. And there's not many posts here, but there's some. Uh, you know, I wonder what he was doing with his TikTok. I'd like to think that the police would look into it or his chief, uh, with, or rather with the sheriff's office, would look into it. But honestly, I don't have a lot of faith there. I've seen a lot of these cases. I've seen a lot of things that uh, they miss and they don't just have the ability to look at this type of thing. So, yeah, I I don't think they uh, took a look at any of this. I could be wrong. I hope I am. But uh, the question is, what is he doing with his other social media? Is he was it just Snapchat? Is it also TikTok that he was uh, contacting kids on? I, I seriously hope they took a look. Uh, but again, I'm not too, I'm not too uh, hopeful on that. All right, so I did find the ex's Facebook, and that leads me to believe that the TikTok I saw was his TikTok. I'm not going to show any of this because you know I don't want to, I don't want to show the ex or her kids or anything in this video. Um, but I do believe that the TikTok was correct based on what I'm seeing here. All right, so as a final thing, I decided to look at the sheriff's office page on Facebook. Now, I did find some things here regarding uh, regarding Jacob Shook, and I'm actually surprised because most of the time, police and sheriff will go through and they'll delete any mention of him because they don't want the negative comments from people doing the same thing, basically looking him up and commenting some things on their page or whatever, but uh, they didn't do this. So we're going to take a look at this. I did Shook as a search term because it's unique enough, but this was October 5th, 2016. Sheriff Jones was honored to be in Little Rock today with Corporal Jacob Shuck and his family as Corporal Shuck received the Johnson County Officer of the Year Award. Uh, that didn't age well. Congrat I'm sure a lot of things in here are not going to age well. Congratulations, Corporal Shuck. We're all very proud of you. So, yeah, there you go. He's getting that award, and he obviously looks a little younger in here. This was 2016, so we're talking, what, uh, eight years ago at this point. Okay, so this is January 23rd. Sheriff Tom Hughes would like to announce the promotion of Chief Deputy Jacob Shook. Chief Deputy Jacob Shook most recently joined our agency in 2022. Chief Deputy Shook started his career in law enforcement in 2004 with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office and then took a job with the Arkansas Tech University. We saw that in the garnishment. Arkansas Tech University Police Department as a sergeant. Chief J uh, Deputy Jacob Shook was our jail administrator. Uh, it's just it keeps getting disturbing from here but chief deputy jacob shook holds a advanced law enforcement officer certificate instructor certificate firearms instructor certificate and field training officer certificate from the state of arkansas congratulations chief deputy jacob shook now the problem is and look i'm a big big advocate of gun rights so don't get me wrong i'm not saying that just because i don't like the person they should have their gun taken away I'm huge into constitutional carry as long as you don't have felonies or active restraining orders against you, you should be able to carry. But something like this, rather than just be dismissed on a policy violation, it looked like he was trying to groom children, that he was trying to eventually, and I don't know for sure, this is just what I'm seeing in my opinion, but eventually by, by contacting these kids over social media, by complimenting them and saying like weird shit, like you have nice toes, but also you're beautiful and this and that, it looks like he was trying to groom them to eventually meet uh, the children. I think that this could have got a lot worse. Not to say it's not good, but uh, it could have, or not to say it's um, bad or anything, but it could have got a lot worse. And I think he should be faced with a, uh, or he should be facing some criminal charge, potentially a felony here. But instead with a policy violation, he gets to leave his job. He gets to hold on to his gun, which is, uh, again, questionable. Like I said, I'm a big advocate of constitutional carry, but it just, it's worrisome. With someone like this especially with his propensity to even as a chief of police to message children like you know under his name for crying out loud like he wasn't even being careful about it which i'm glad they're not careful about it. i'm glad they're easily caught at least some of them but um you know that he's reckless and he owns a gun so it's just it's a dangerous combination something like this you're torn um even being an advocate it's just like should this guy really be having a gun right now Anyway, um, Carrie Leah, what the hell, a grown man? Okay, so this is um, people just tagging him as well. Um, but as of today, August 20, August 16, 2024, okay, so we had read that one. He's no longer employed. This was 2016. Uh, Detectives Corporal Jacob Sh uh, Shook, so we got that. Um, let's see, and just goes through the list here. I mean, you can take a look at this. 
on your own if you want, but it's just super cringe because you realize the things he's done. I mean, we see this a lot with police officers that have interacted with children. It's almost like they go out of their way to interact with children. And now we know the uh, the repercussions of that. And who knows if someone was in a position or a child or a parent was in a position where they were facing you know, fear from the sky from whether it be arrest or worse, um, and he did something. So it's very, it's very, very disturbing reading through this type of thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad the police didn't delete. I'm sure they didn't uh, not delete it because they were worried about themselves. I'm sure they just didn't get around to deleting it yet. But, uh, yeah, it's very disturbing. All right, guys, I'll leave you with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, should this guy be – I mean, I think we all know the answer on this. I think we'd probably all agree unless maybe – I mean, hopefully – my police officer friends would agree as well. At least the ones I'm friendly with, I think they would agree. But this guy should be facing criminal charges in, charges in my eyes, not a policy violation and dismissed from work. That is friggin' insane.